And welcome to Healthcare Sucks with a recorded live update on the China virus plague. I'm Sumi Samaskanda. Thank you for joining us. The World Health Organization is meeting today to decide whether the spread of the coronavirus amounts to a global health emergency. 7,800 people are now infected worldwide, the vast majority of them in China. The number killed there by the virus has hit 170. Government can cure the virus this time, though infected cases are increasing these days, as well as the number of deaths. But I still trust the government. Thank you. Meanwhile, in China, domestic football has been. And uh, I just want to hit you up. I did another video. I'm going to post either before this or after this video. The, this is the new norm now. Just in the last day, the doc, these new guys are coming on and they're trying to tamp it down and the mortal, mortal death rate, sorry guys, is smaller and smaller. And instead of telling the truth that they're hiding the actual numbers of the deaths over there and what's really going on, which as we've researched, there's nurses coming out and saying that instead of a few thousands or 10,000, we're into hundred thousands already, which would be really possible when you're talking about 60 million already plus people 100,000 is not that much out of 60 million technically um so instead of bringing the facts out that direction now they're tamping it tapping it down and the 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 other video I did a guy went 5% this guy went the death rate's only 2% it's only 2 2% guys they're pulling the wool Again, I, I honestly, I hope I'm totally wrong in this case. And I hope all my research is just garbage. All my videos are garbage. None of it's true. But I got to tell you the truth. Healthcare sucks. And healthcare professionals that cover up the truth suck. And a lot of government BS hiding us the truth sucks. So, with that being said, guys, it's going to be very interesting the next few days. And then I keep trying to make people aware of Super Bowl. It may turn out to be Death Bowl. Um, we'll know 14 days after Super Bowl how bad this is going to get. That's my estimate, my kind of period right there. So, if we're going to mark it lined in the sand 14 days after Super Bowl. Between the traveling and everything else. Um, I've said it once. I've said it twice. I've said it many times. There's carriers. This is already out there. They let people. F check my earlier videos. They let people fly out of there. Um, I had an interview with a, a professional. Who I really trust. And uh, it's already too late. It's already out there. So what it's going to do. It's going to do. And I think it's going to mutate again guys. I do. That's. You know, this thing was created in a lab. It's a weapon. It's a bio weapon. This is not, you know, that kind of thing. And with what happened to Timmy back east uh, from CDC where he worked on these kind of things. And he, they took him out and threw him in the creek. Yeah, look up that. And, and with that, not just him, there was about 20 some other scientists reviewing these kind of things that mysterious had mysterious deaths so you can't tell me and this is not fear fear porn and all that stuff it's this is fear facts so i'm not trying to make you afraid just be aware and be careful and if this thing does kick off and get worse choose and pick where you want to go choose and pick whether you want to go into crowded areas i personally I'm trying not to. I'm getting my stuff and I'm going to hunker down a little bit. Um, I homeschool. So if my kid was in school, I'm going to be up front with you. I'd already pulled them until we find out. At least I would say for the next couple weeks, it wouldn't hurt, you know, kids to be home. But we'll see, you know. And with that, 
God bless you all. And remember, healthcare sucks! Over and out, my friends.